Hey stampers, it's Gade again. Um, I'm going to be coming along doing bonus cards using products that have been gifted to me. Um, if it's an embellishment or if it's the whole thing on the card, I'm going to be doing these as a bonus. Once a week, uh, as the extras in the night as well. Um, I'm going to be doing the weekly sketch. I'm going to use products that other people have it's either gifted to me or... Yeah, well, basically what people have gifted to me, or stuff I've bought from elsewhere. So, I'm going to show you my card. This is this week's sketch. Um, it was just to keep the pattern either side and the sentiments running down. I have done yay inside, um, because that's birthday card. This is male orientated. Um, and this is the die I used. And it is actually this, what is on the actual sketch card, it was stars. But I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to do the heart one for the ladies and I'm swapping the colours so for my base card I'm using Blushing Bride I'm just going to fold that in half and that is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths and if you're American it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter um, my layering piece are very vanilla then it's going to be three and seven eighths by five and five eighths in America that would be four by five and a quarter and this piece is going to go for the stars and I, I'm going to have love hearts instead for this one. So this is three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So yours would be three and three quarters by five. Yes, three and three quarters by five if you wanted to do the same thing. And then this piece is just for the sentiment strip and this is two inches by five and three eighths. So yours would be two inches by five and a quarter, or no, by five, just to cover this centerpiece. I've got, I had some embellishment sent to me today by the gorgeous Gloria, so I don't know which ones I'm gonna use yet, but I'm gonna find something that maybe goes with the pink. Um, we've got all these beautiful embellishments. I like those flowers, and I'm not, it doesn't matter what size it is, as long as I've got my card just how I want it. I may even use some of these beautiful little daisies. You never know. There is some little flowers in here which I could probably colour with the blends as well. Um, there's these beautiful decorations here which are very pretty as well. Beautiful. I'm going to be using stuff that people have sent me. Because uh, I, I do use them but not very often. So I'm going to make a point this year. Of every week, once the sketch is up, I'm going to do my sketch using products that people have sent me. So I'm going to make a choice between these three and we'll decide at the end. So these plates, I had sent to these off eBay just as background dies because I don't have many background dies. So I had a play today with the stars because they said stars, but I'm going to use the love hearts on this one. It won't be a very uh, long and lengthy card because you'll still get the one at 10 o'clock tonight. So I'm going to place that in the middle. And then I don't mind some hanging over the, head, the edge. So I'm just going to run that through my big shot. I'm putting it in at an angle because I don't want to get that horrible clanking. back as well perfect so it is my love and all these little love hearts I've got to in here love hearts stars and petals because I do have another background die which is this one and every little uh, segment like this, which reminded me of a leaf, so I thought I will save them and use them as leaves behind flowers. I can even colour them in a different colour. So they're my three background dyes that I've got. Let's just take this off here. I 
Look at that, I haven't got a poke, a single one out. Isn't that gorgeous and cute? Looks a bit lobcodded, but it doesn't matter. But I can poke all those hearts out and use them in my little trinket box. And we're going to layer this right on here. I don't mind that it's a bit on the on the wonk as well, but uh, absolutely gorgeous. It's a bonus card anyway, ladies. Hee. <laughs> so I'm going to now attach. I'm not going to add card on the inside. It's pale enough to write on, but we're going to add something different than the yay, because I don't think ladies prefer a yay. Different for a bloke. But if you've got background eyes, use them. I'm going to. Start using what I've got because I set a sketch every week for everybody and then don't do it myself. So I should make a point because if I make the effort, maybe more of everybody else will too. Because we used to, last year we were getting oh, something like up to 55 entries, and it seems to I know it was Christmas and people were busy, but it's dwindling down and my habit is to get people to do it not just a couple of times and then not do it again I want them to keep it interesting it's inspiration for other ladies as well for those who, who are beginners people who need some inspiring so come across onto Facebook stamp with joy <coughs> ask to join if you're not already a member and join in with the sketches keeps you on your toes gives you a little bit of focus as well because you've got a sketch to follow so it's not hard so this is like a quarter of an inch smaller all round I'm just gonna gently place that on give it a rub from the back that's sweet this is gonna go down I'm gonna have more showing this side than this side that's going to go on there, but I'm going to do some stamping first. I've used the lovely Amazing Life for the happy birthday. And I'm going to swap it up for You Are Amazing instead. So it's the same card, it's just different layout. Same layout, sorry, different uh, sentiment. So it makes it a totally different card. And then you've got I Believe in You or You Are Amazing. So I'm going to have You Are Amazing. And I stamped it, stamped off, stamped it, stamped off. That's where they got the paler shade from. And I'm using my lovely lipstick. I'm lining it up at the bottom because it gives me a good spacing for my row of sentiments. Whoops. Oh, this lovely lipstick case is so stiff. So I'm going to try my best and keep it between the, in between those two lines. So I'm going to stamp, lift off, stamp above it. So it's paler. One more time. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect. So that's all I needed that for. My cloth needs cleaning. I will go and do my magic on there later and get those stains out. Oh, really stiff that one. So that's going to get attached to the front of my card now. I'm adding plenty of glue because I don't want it to come off because it's got to go in between these gaps as well. So again, I'm lining it up so that pink line is on there so I can go t two squares in 
and to be two squares on that side too. Perfect. I think that looks uh, that's nice and straight. Yay! So with the words yay, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to find something else. Um, let's have a look. Or I may just add a flower, so I'm going to have this lovely, lovely flower here instead. And I'm going to use Blushing Bride the same as the card base. Just gonna scatter these all over full strength and some not so full strength. Oh, lovely! Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. And now we're going to pick our embellishments. That's sweet. Just so pretty. So I'm looking at these thinking, mmm, absolutely beautiful. Let's have a look. So these were gifted by Gloria Wolf, who is an uh, absolute superstar. I have to take that pearl off and centre it again. That's better. Isn't that gorgeous and sweet? I may have a large one. Pop out the centre. Just so pretty. And again, I'm just going to realign. I'm going to have to use some more glue. Probably. I want to get that in the centre. That's nice. That's really pretty actually. I like that. Definitely going to glue this one on. Whoops. Come on. Nice. Pretty heavy uh, gem actually. that a second to dry. It won't take long. It can be drying while it's in place. So I'm going to have this one just above the sentiment. That is so sweet. And I'm going to have a larger one. Just above here. And I wonder if I could take that small one off. Let's have a look. Could have a small one down there. There we go. I'm going to remove that one because I can still put a larger gem on there and make that look really pretty again. And we're going to have this beautiful little one popping down here. the gem over if I can. Come on now, stick, stick, stick. Oh, I'm going to leave that like that. That is just super cute. Love it. Absolutely love it. 
Thank you for these, Gloria. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I will remove that bit of glue off there and I'll attach. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to attach. I have some really large pearls here. Oh, that's the wrong packet. There we go, there's it. I've got tub gun embellishments on my desk. And look at that, that looks so pretty again. Just beautiful. So uh, there we go. So this is, let me pop these to one side. There is my female version and my ma male version of the same card. So I hope you like. Um, it is just a bonus card. So, and it will be once a week. I will. It won't be on the same day. It may be on the start of the week, towards the end of the week, or in the middle of the week. But uh, I will definitely be using products that people have sent to me as a gift. Well, I hope you enjoy. Like I was saying, we've got flowers in here. We've got yay in here. <laughs> this was Coastal Cabana, very vanilla and mossy meadow. And so the gems were retired products from Stampin' Up. But these beautiful flowers were gifted to me by the gorgeous Gloria Wolf. So, thank you for watching. Till next time. Love you all. Bye. Oh, please don't forget to subscribe and press the little bell straight away. That way you'll be notified of all future videos. Bye.